All right, I've got a tankless hot water heater that they said was thrown an error code. And the sinks that are attached directly to it aren't heating up. So I'm gonna turn, this is tied into the hot water. I'm gonna turn this on. All right, just to show. So this unit shows in use. Now both of these units meet. So the left and the right both feed the building. It's not that this does some sinks and this does others, with the exception of we have very specific sinks we wanted direct water from. So we hooked them up and ran them into the into the building. Hey, now we've got in use here. Look at there. I messed with the ignition. <laughs> that was it. That was it. So we'll go back and show you. This one was not showing in use and this one was. So what I did was I killed this and I forced it to only use the right one. And when I did, it threw error code 11. We got no fire and no hot water and it just failed. I'm gonna turn this off. Oh yeah, look at that hot water. She's blazing now. Well, um, error code 11, we just looked up and it, it means it's not igniting. And that could be because of a bad igniter or it could be because the, there's bad airflow. So this is the igniter. I followed it up and I just noticed immediately that it's not attached properly. This one doesn't move. So it looks like the igniter itself is just, it had failed enough, but now that I've jiggled it, So I'm calling for water again. I've isolated it, so it's only gonna use this one. We got our fan, and it actually lit again. We've been out here for 15 minutes before we started filming though. And again, I promise you, this wasn't lighting and we weren't getting heat. So I'm gonna order a new igniter. And if this is gonna limp by till we get it, then that's fantastic. So that should have solved our hot water problems inside. We're gonna go check. Okay, so we removed the burner and the sensors, and they're pretty jacked. But I actually don't see anything broken. So we're gonna just try and clean it. We'll try and clean the tips with, we've got a little uh, flame sensor cleaner tool. We'll put it on and uh, show you, and we'll see how it comes out. And hit the hot water, buddy. So uh, we cleaned our rods, put, and we actually just put them back in. Because once you attach them properly, they snug down. So I killed that. So we're only using this side and ignition in use. Uh, we are heating and uh, we're hot watering out here. Yeah, there's the steam. So we don't need to order anything. We're good to go. So maybe we need to look at cleaning all the igniters. 